Come on, lads. We all know why you want to unlock Bunny. Let's not lie to ourselves. Oops, there's a ledge there. But yeah, guys, Bunny is the first character within the first descendant you will unlock. And well, spoiler alert, just play the game. Now, what I will say is, it ain't quite as simple as that. There's a few things, a few requirements you may want to do, a few quest steps in the way that may put you off. But today, guys, I bring you a complete guide from start to finish on how you unlock um, the first descendant's first character, Bunny. Now, like I said, things may not be as straightforward, and for anyone struggling, that's what this guide is for. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So Bunny is a character you meet literally right off the bat and it isn't long before you are given her quest line to obtain her as a playable character. So let's go from the very start of your playthrough and as always guys time stamps down below for each individual part. Okay so upon you first selecting your character and completing the tutorial where you learn the basics you then have to take out the grave walker boss, simple and easy fight guys. You will then arrive at Albion, where you firstly have to go and speak with Guide, located right here on the map, where you complete the New Hope quest step. Simple. This, like all Maiden Story quest steps, are highlighted in purple on your map, but you can't really miss it. So after speaking with Guide, you then have to go and speak with Alpha. Again, highlighted purple marker. Then, guys, you progress onto Kingston for your next mission. Upon you arriving here, you will see and speak with Guide. Just after this, you'll then speak with Marcus, where you then have to do a few missions for him, again on Kingston. So the first mission is located right in front of you. Start it up. The mission basically requires you to defeat targets, then move to the operation zone, defeat further targets, and upon you doing this, you then move on to the base stabilization quest step of this mission of Urban District, located right nearby, highlighted again in purple. This requires you to just defeat targets, simple as that. Now, upon you doing this, you will instantly move into the Security Emergency Communication System mission, highlighted right again in purple, right in front of you. In this mission, you basically have to protect or defend the Operation Zone and the Albion Communications Repeater. Upon you doing this, head outside to the next mission where you now have to activate the Emergency Communicator, called the Last Emergency Communicator. Here, yeah, eliminate all enemies in that surveillance zone. And then finally guys, after interacting with the target, you then have to eliminate further enemies and then defeat the Vorgus War Slave. You are now required to receive orders from the outpost. This is where you pick up Bonnie's questline to unlock her. Seen on your map within Kingston, head right here to the fast travel spot right nearby. Once here guys, speak with Bunny. Upon doing this, you now have her quest to unlock her. Now if you go into your quest tab and highlight obtain bunny you can see that the target there is to acquire three materials needed indeed to research bunny basically mean unlock her so let's start with the materials so from here guys upon the kingston map you will see two new purple quest missions the one as you spawn in on your right or top on the map reward you the bunny enhanced sales material which is what we need so I'll do this one first what this mission is, is basically require you to destroy three Vorgus generators, quite simple really. Upon you doing this, you then have to defeat the Elite Storm Warrior. For doing this, you are rewarded Bunny's Enhanced Cell. Cool. From here guys, we then push onto the attack, the Captured Bases mission, where you firstly have to clear out Vorgus' occupied buildings and then defeat the follower, Shield Bearer. From here guys, you now have to push on to the Magister Lab mission, also highlighted on your map in purple. This mission rewards you the bunny stabilizer material that you do need. That's two or three out of the way. A simple mission where you first push through and defeat all spawning targets, and at the end you have to defeat the Elite Storm Warrior. From here guys, you have one more material to unlock. So from here, I return back to Albion and speak with Alpha. And here, completing the Conflicting Opinions quest step. And here, you move on. After this, guys, you get a cutscene with Guide. You again then have to speak with Alpha after this cutscene and complete the Differences in Opinion quest step. From here, guys, you have to head back to Kingston where you'll be welcomed by three more main quest missions, all highlighted in purple. 
You may notice that the Vulgus data transmitter will reward you that third material you need, but doing this alone doesn't help you progress. You actually have to complete all three of these missions, people. As just completing the mission required to get that third material just gives you a pop-up on the screen about completing the Slumber Valley mission, which isn't unlocked until you do all three of these Kingston missions. So yeah, keep that in mind. So on to these missions guys, well by now you should have a feeling of exactly how these missions do indeed play out. Uh, so fast travel to the Grand Square and start these three missions in any order you want. Like I said they are all required for you to push on and actually get Bonnie due to materials awarded to you by completing these three missions are needed for that next step and unlocking that next mission of the Slumber Valley. So the mission here with Vulgus Data Transmitter which rewards you bonus material is as simple as defending a point by standing on it and keeping enemies out of it. Simple as that. The suspicious battery pack mission requires you to do more or less the same thing but upon you capturing the point you then destroy a box on top of it, it drops the material, you pick that material up and you basically deliver it to this dumpster like robot looking mofo. And the third mission here guys is the Kingston Surveillance Radar which just requires you to defeat all targets while defending that radar. Simple as that guys, it's not hard at all. Upon you doing these three missions, another one will pop up called Target Spotted. Here guys, head to that purple marker on your map and waiting for you will be Bunny. This is where we start that Slumber Valley mission. So this mission consists of you running through a few areas, taking out enemies and progressing the, the path by shooting the objective upon you releasing its shield by taking out the enemies that spawn here. Simple as that, you do this a few times guys and push on. You will then be welcomed by Greg who is the boss of this mission and upon you taking him out this mission is now done. From here guys you now want to head back to Albion and talk to both Guide and Seneca. Upon you clearing out dialogue and collecting what's given in regards to the information to push forward you now want to pull up your map bottom left of your screen you'll see the void intercept battles select the normal missions and load into the grave walker boss fight here guys you should probably go with matchmaking now the boss fight is quite simple he does have these like shoulder pad like things that when you shoot them they are blue upon continuous fire they turn yellow which you can then guys grab a hook to them and by spamming that shoot button you do great damage to them the boss will sometimes shake here and I believe you can hang on by pressing that aim button or spamming that aim button, I ain't too sure. Now a phase will come after a certain amount of the boss's health has come off, we have to shoot these tubes that come out of his legs. Upon doing all these, take the boss out. So upon you killing the boss you can now use the reconstructed device, but do you collect your loot first, there's no rush. So within this guys you obviously want to select the one which gives you the amorphous material pattern bunny which is the one on the right, well it was for me, make sure you read. From here guys you can then head back to Albion and Aeneas is that say her name is, I'm not too sure, she is the Descendants Research Vendor. Upon you going to her guys you can now unlock bunny as you will have the coins which is 400k as well as the materials. So select and unlock bunny, wait 60 seconds and then bunny is yours to use and it really is as simple as that people. That's how you unlock bunny in the first descendant. Guys if you enjoyed the video and like what you see and want to see more first descendant be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people I'll see you on that next one.